This documentary is for educational purposes only. All firearms shown are decommissioned and legally owned. This documentary does not endorse or condone sectarianism. It has been edited and censored to comply with YouTube's guidelines. Viewer discretion is advised. There are some places out there which never truly recover from the scars of war. When I had 11, I was shot. Today, I'm documenting one of them. Ever since a young age, I've been fascinated with the Berlin Wall. The idea that a country could be divided in two. The Berlin Wall was knocked down. The walls that divide the communities here were not. Or well, currently, uh, just in front of me, I see the the guy is setting up for the for the bonfire tonight. Uh, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty crazy crazy sight, man. Yo, yo, is it is it calm to go up there? Yeah. Huh? No. Yeah, sorry, it's it's not it's not it's not gonna break or nothing, yeah. No. All right, man. First time claiming the bumper, is it? Okay, no, bro. My first time in Northern Ireland, man. In you know? You boys do this like every. Okay, you boys do this like every year, yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know how you get the pallets up here, man. Boy, it's a lot. It's a lot higher than it looks as well, isn't it? Hundred percent. Okay, when you're no. up here, it looks a bit smaller when you're down there, but when you're up here, it's definitely bigger. Yeah. I keep me warm. Okay, no. Keep us in. Keep us down there. That's great. And how many years you lads been doing this, man? Nine years. What's it symbolise, bro? Because like I, I, when I was like researching, I know it's something to do with like the the Protestants and the the Catholics and that, but I don't I don't really. We're burning our flag. They were burning your flag. No, we burn ours. Oh, we you put all our flags in this here. You burn bu it. you burn theirs, yeah. Uh, Why are the communities so divided here? Quite simply. One side wants to remain part of the UK, the other wants to join a united Ireland. But like, is there still conflict to this day, like with uh, the... With yeah, the loads. Well, not, not really as much as it used to be, like, but they're still fighting. They're still fighting, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, pa paramilitary guys and, and oh, IRA. Not, not no, not paramilitary like. anymore. Just younger ones. Just younger ones. Yeah. Keeping on the tradition. Yeah. <laughs> If, if, if the government tried to like reunify Ireland, what, what would you lads do, man? Be reds. Be reds. Reds. You get out in this. Everyone be throwing petal bombs at the fucking pubs. Every cheat again. Like it would turn to like, uh, what is yeah, it, the, 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 the purge, man, the purge. Oh, yeah, okay, World War. World War, yeah. Oh, we put that like that on Andrew now. <laughs> 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 I won't, I won't put that in the documentary. Man. Okay, no. <laughs> right, this is the loyalist Sandy Row, estate in Belfast. Queen Sap Rabbit. Queen Rabbit. It is right. Biggest bone farm in Belfast. See the village over there. All the tags over there. And all the lads. What's your name, bro? Rattle. Rattle. Rocco. Rocco. Aye. Dante, man. Yes, Safe. Nice to meet you, bro. Would you say you're a unionist, yeah? Aye, uh, yes. You're a unionist. Protestant. No. Protestant, yeah. What, yeah. what do you think of the opposition, man? On the, with the old ones, the Tigs, Catholics. Yeah, yeah. Scum. Scum. Fairs, man. If the government tried to like reunify Yo. Ireland, what would you do, bro? Rats will break it. Reds. Red rats. Rats. Rat rats. Oh riots! Oh riots! Oh yeah. So you get out in the street, bro. I fucking shoot shoot some. Man, island island is a mad place, bro. Like English people ain't like that, man. Like Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, yeah, Northern Ireland. My bad. I only got here today, man. I've never been here before, bro. Never been here before. I've never been to Ireland, mate. Like the whole country, bro. Have you seen that? Have you seen any Catholic ship? I don't know. Like, like what? What do they look like, bro? Like, how do you know? 
You can see them, they're all scruffy. Oh, all, they look like crack kids. <laughs> they're scruffy, oh, yeah. Do you know how you know if you're walking in that Catholic estate? What is what is a Catholic estate, though? How do I know? Like, what? Tell me a name of a Catholic estate, bro. Like, did ever see a big tower over there? That big red tower. That big red tower, That's yeah. Devil's Flats, so that's all it takes. You don't know, see, see where you see Union Jacks now everywhere? Union Jacks? Yeah. The flags? You, you'll see the sea green, mate, and orange flag, the Ireland flag. That's how you know you're in a Catholic estate. Oh, okay. That's yeah, how you know. But then you see like all oh, them, like all oh, like the Queen. Oh, yeah. that's how you know you're in a Protestant there. This is everything to me. This is the heritage and the culture of my country. This makes me feel happy. This is everything to me. I wait all year for this. I knock government out. No surrender. F the pigs. The pub on the IRA. So can I ask you for my video? Like yeah, what, me, 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 me. what? 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 This means me. to you? Oh yeah. Oh, every, fifty years old now, and it means everything to me. Everything. From one year old, I lived over across the road, and. My brothers, who are 55, 60 now, built Sandy Row Bonfire all their lives. Okay. So it means everything. So since, Cultural, you, since yeah. you've been growing up, like, yes. part, part of growing up? 50 years. 50 years. Wow. Office, and I love it. Yeah. Love it. So, so like today, like I've been asking people a lot of questions and I've heard that in the past, you know, like sometimes it kicks off here with like riots uh, and stuff like that. Have you ever witnessed anything go wrong at uh, no, any of these events? Never. Never? Just our family. Just I, have all, I have my wee grandkids here. There. They stay there. I have my wee twin grandkids here. And never. What age would you let them start, like get up there and build it? 13. 13, yeah? 13, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, it's, it's quite young. Yeah. <laughs> but they know how to do it. They know how to do it, yeah. It's built in their blood. It's built in their blood. So, uh, I read in the news recently that, like, uh, a member of uh, the government, uh, you know, he wanted to reunify Ireland. If, if, if they tried to reunify Ireland, uh, uh, how would you react? No. 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 So, you would. you our culture. So, you would fight for the, the right to stay? Oh, as, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's our culture. You know, 50 years standing here, 50 years coming to do all this. You want the cheese on you! Get that! Thank you for that, thank you. No surrender, yeah? Despite Rocco's warnings, all it takes to your shoes, you may watch. I spent the next day talking with locals on the other side to get the full picture. This is quality, dude. See this? There's the rubber bullet. I'm going to grab it, yeah. That door's up. Do you know Bloody Sunday? Have yeah. Did you hear about it? Yeah. yeah. Right, 1972? Yeah. There's an actual gun that was used by the parachute regiment on Bloody Sunday Jeez. in Paris. Look at the size of it. That's fair. <laughs> that's what I mean. Here, hold that one. Let make sure you don't drop them on the floor. your woman who had the mural for getting the mural the bottom. See them there? They fired these. See his neck look after. Yeah. That was the rubber bottom. Yeah. See them? They landed. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't, I don't trust them. Was, <laughs> they wouldn't let them be fired in England because they said they were too dangerous. But they fired them at the Irish. And so it was alright to fire them at us. But now that uh, uh, yeah. this is what it was. You know, that shit, bro. Yeah. Here and there's the other ones. Then they then they brought these ones in the plastic bullet because mm. they they were lethal. So it says, oh, "We'll bring these ones instead." Yeah. But these were even worse. These are the. I, they shot me. I get shot on the big toe and on the on the head with one of them. To, no, two different times. Oh, bro, feel this. Shit. Uh, they're fucking. This one, that's even softer. Hold that, feel bro. this. Hold that, yeah. Oh my god. And how, how did it feel to be like shot with that man? Here, that that. I couldn't breathe, and I was all, you know, all blood all over me, mm. and they were around me, beating their, their shields with, with, you know, with the buttons, yeah. laughing at me. They were trying to kill me. Yeah, they, they, they were just, it was just... Northern Ireland has a long history of conflict between unionists and nationalists. It can be hard to learn what's really happening because news outlets might not show the full picture. 
That's why I'm happy to introduce today's sponsor, Ground News. It's a website and app that brings together articles from thousands of sources worldwide, letting you see how different outlets cover the same story. For instance, Ground News found nearly 70 articles about anti-immigration riots in the UK. You can compare how the right-leaning Times in the UK talks about loyalists and nationalists standing united in this march. While the Belfast Telegraph aims to tackle immigration myths, seeing different views helps you to understand important issues better instead of just hearing one side. Visit ground.news shocker or scan my QR code to subscribe today. My viewers get 40% off the Vantage plan I use for unlimited access to all their features. Ground News does important work and by supporting them, you're also supporting my mission. Oh, pull up. <laughs> See this one here? This is mad though. That there's number yeah, 140. This one. That, this one's crazy. That there's the, the first ever Colt 21. See, do you know when the Americans made them, right? The, these, the first uh, people to buy, to buy these was the IRA. Yeah. Seriously? Are they were the first ones? They bought the first 600. Or so this is, this is pro-prohibition era in America. Yeah, so I got ones from prohibition. Pro-prohibition era. Aye, but this one here was, this one came from the Ireland, this was brought in, these were smuggled in by a peeler, <laughs> by an American <laughs> peace one. That one's mad from wow. so, that. One rocket launcher or something like that. And that there's a Lewis gun, they were using them in the First yeah. World War, but they used them here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in 1972 they had one of these fairness in the yeah. state, they were firing them from the flats, no down at the bridge. That's, that's, that's crazy man. Like, what was it like to grow up here? We didn't really have a childhood from, well really from when I had 11, I was shot by the parachute regiment. Then I was in a bomb explosion a couple of years later where I was nearly killed in it, where I was in a coma for a, for a while and I got bad injuries done to me, you know, my face, my hands, my legs and that. And pulled through that door, but at the same time as other people all around the place all being blew up and shot. I was one of the lucky ones because I survived it. But then when I hit 15, I got shot again in the face, and that was by the Green the Green Jackets shot me. That's a British Army regiment. They tried to kill me. They said that they didn't mean it, it was an accident, but they 100% definitely tried to kill me because he told me about a minute before that he was going to shoot me. And as the years went on when I hit 19, I got shot again by the security forces. They said again it was an accident, which it wasn't. It was again they tried to kill me, but it was their word against mine. So everybody believed them because they were the security forces. The time I got shot in the face, that was the worst feeling, land there, where I couldn't breathe, you know, because the impact where it hit me. And the thoughts of me being only 15 and laying on the ground, and the blood all around me. And three soldiers came up and they were laughing at me when I was laying on the ground. It scared me because I really, really thought this was it, I was going to die. And there was nobody, nobody caring whenever I seen them, no laughing. That was the, that would have been the most scariest time of my life. When it was blew up, I didn't really know anything because it was just, it just ripped up and just landed there. And I didn't even know it got blew up until a couple of months later when I woke up. And at that time, did you ever think, you know, that there will ever be peace? Then, no, never. I thought it was going to be like this the rest of my life until I died. And then, there was talks, the ceasefires was called, and you could see a bit of a change, but everybody was always waiting on it, you know, starting back again. But it's held, it's held off now for over 20 years now, but there's still conflict there sitting, and you're always scared of it, you no know, starting all up again. That's what I was saying today, but they have these walls built, and they call them peace walls, and, uh, if they were to take them down, they'd start killing each other again. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to go. 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 I
That's incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> blur, blur our face. It's like to a restaurant. Oh, he's going through the tuna everywhere in here. Oh, I just saw a wee video. Throw a little egg. Yeah. Oh, right. What's our camera? It's on a. Oh, this one. It's a, it's a little one. For the vlog. Like vlog. Vlogging. Go on. That's a microphone, yeah? You're vlogging now. What, what's it? What's it like to grow up here, mate? Uh, good. Uh, it's pretty like. So when you're amazing and when you're younger, you just fuck about. Yeah. Mm. What, what, what do you What do you think about the the Protestants, man? Yeah, it's good. Very good. It's nice, and we're starting to get some good things into it. Yeah. So, so you're not you're not like uh, against them. You're not like enemies. You, you don't mind them. No, no, I don't mind. That's that's good, man. That's good. I'm, I'm I'm making a little little video about this area. Can I ask you you boys some questions? Fucking red. Yeah. Oh. So. So what what's it what's it like to live around here, man? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Living about here, like it's just. That shit sometimes damn to do. Damn to do I doubt at all. You couldn't do a single thing about here like could you? You had to find your own yeah. stuff to do, like yeah. that's probably why everyone's just about doing drugs and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Proper. What 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 so you say there's like a, a big drug problem around this area, yeah. Hundred percent. But like what else can we do, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing else to do. So we just have to, like there's no one nothing else for the people to do, so what? Hundred yeah. percent. Just drugs and that's drugs and people lighting the fires and people stealing. That's just it. That's whole area. So like y yourself as like a y young young lads growing up in this area, like and in, in in that environment, like how does that affect you, man? Ah, uh, it raises everyone to be terrible people, like way worse people than they should be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like if it was a different area, every single person in this whole place would be different. But it's just the way people are raised now, it's just steal what you can and take what you can and smoke what you can. Like, what is the worst thing that you've seen happen here, man? Like. Have you got any particular memory that is like, fucking oh, that's a bit, a bit raw, you know? Oh, I got arrested for rolling the joint outside of Chippy, like, that was the worst thing I think I've seen, like. That's all wrong, getting a just head and smash with a hammer, like. Serious? Aye, a few years, I'd say my house. A few years back. See, these flats, I'd say, it's probably the worst place to go, like. I remember we were here, and there was some man who walked up to, like, a group of people over and he's like, oh, let me fight you. Just let me fight you, just four people. Like, like four people about our age, just some big fat man, and then he was just throwing them over his back, and then one of them tried to steal the watch, ran down mm -hmm. there and came back, and every single one of them were just sitting over there, except the wee man who ran away. The wee man came back to go and give him the watch, and then just the big fat man just started swinging the nose, like, fuck me, lad! And then I just seen him walk up into some gaff or some cunt was just singing, and I was like, fuck, that's some gig, like, that's a bit of crack, you know what I mean? The, the last question I have to ask you, man, uh, if the government, like, reunified Ireland, like, how, how do you react, man? I'd be happy enough, like, better economy, that's what I know, like, I've been down south the other week and there was a way better, people were just happier and shit by the looks of it, you know what I mean? People just making more money, but obviously everything's more expensive, but they're still making more money to pay for the stuff, you know what I mean? They're all being happy down there, so I'd say at the Unified Island it'd be 100% better, like, but, yeah, man. fuck, see, as long as there's peace. See your time, bro. No worries, bro. Hopefully no police arresting you for no joints, man. Oh, no, man. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, Joints, get the fuck, that's it, and get that, <laughs> The peace kit will be closed, we have to battle Yeah. The peace kit is what separates the Catholic and the Irish people, especially around the night time because obviously people... A peace can, gate? Yeah. yeah. To keep two sides up. And they, they still have that now? They still have it for today, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bigger ones in like West Belfast, but we still have loot here. So, so that that's literally like the equivalent of like Berlin Wall, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? But modern day, like yeah. they're, they're still in the morning. Them down. Like they still haven't knocked them down, unfortunately. But well, obviously, if they want not to any time soon. If they knock, if they knock it down, it'll probably cause something because it's been so long where it's been, you know, sealed off. Yeah. Like, two Literally. sides of the area. So if it, if something that just get cracked like that, it would cause another type of scare. These teenagers petrol bombing up. Clashes between Catholic and Protestant communities. If they were to take them down. To start killing each other again. Here's the, the dividing wall. 
So this is this is the wall. This yeah. is in the wall wall, but this is the divider. This is one of the divider. So how you go for it? This is one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll show you this one. This is one that closes. They all close at night time. I, what time did it close at? Like 9pm. Yeah, yeah. Or, or 8 something. or something. Like, like inconvenient like timings. I think, I think this... It's yeah, this is the, the maddest thing I've heard. Like, that you guys have told me that there's literally... There's a gate to separate the, the two communities. So if this this is a bit a bit later tonight, because obviously the fires and that you think you think's a bit bit of a tense area. On the yeah. No, probably not the best place to be going right now, like but I'll show you a bit anyway. But like this, this is this is what I find this is what I find fascinating, man. Media don't talk about this. Yeah. Media don't say, oh, you know, because the the two sides that one supporting Israel and one supporting Palestine, like the media don't tell the, you. The media don't tell you about that. Unless the British media and the better media don't show you half the stuff to go on. No, no. You know what I mean? They don't show you half the stuff that happens in Palestine. Don't show you half the stuff that happens anywhere. Right, remember, Ireland was possibly, I think, uh, England's first colony, right? So, there's unresolved issues here that six of the 32 counties are still under British control, British rule, okay? And there's been numerous fights for the freedom of the Irish people in the north, northern six counties of Ireland, right? Yeah. To set us free from that British colonial uh, and imperialist project, you know? So we can see the similarities in terms of what goes on in Palestine. Sweet, sweet, my brawls, man. Yo, 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 I don't know if I'll ever understand this or by the time that I leave Northern Ireland I'll have a, I'll have a better idea of the conflict and trying to understand it, you know? What's going on, man? What, oh, what are you at? What's going on tonight, man? Lambs is there, mate. Just lighting the bunny along. What, what, what does it mean? It's for our culture, mate. It's uh, back in the Battle of the Bunny, King Valley. For him, light fires for him. Yeah, man. Basically, that's basically what it's like. So, so, so like the the one thing I'm confused about is like, what? Why do you guys burn the the Palestine and the Irish the free strikes flag, man? Scumbags, scumbags, man, scumbags, finding. Oh, when they did, they burn our flags, so we burn ours. Yeah. So it's like rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you think you could ever be friends? With a Fingen? Yeah. No. 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 Hate them. Okay. Hate them. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. No sweat. I just hope eventually in the world that everyone can just get along and be friends. But it's not always that simple. It's literally about to collapse, man. Like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Right, it's hot, bro. It's hot. Yo, yeah. oh, fucking go! Yo, you, you lad from Glasgow. I might yeah. take a photo of me and my pal. I'm, I'm, I'm making a YouTube video. Can I ask you yeah. some things? Yeah. I ask, I ask me like something that. then. What? Why do you lads come here tonight, man? Because to enjoy the party and support my culture. Enjoy the party and support my culture. Ah, I'm a loyalist. Can I see loyalist. something for your YouTube? Go, 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 Glen Yabas. Well, what, 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 Go ask again. What, would you say, uh, would you say Glasgow is rougher than uh, Belfast or Belfast rougher than Glasgow? I don't ten percent. Glasgow's rougher any way possible. You name it, any way they're rougher, and I bet you Glasgow's rougher. I got one last question for you boys. Yeah. So, if if the government tried to reunify Ireland, 
Would you guys take to the streets? What would you do, what man? What does that mean? Re so, re so re if, if, if they tried re to like re-government, like re rebuild Ireland, that like, 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 like put, wait, put Ireland together. Wait, so, so runs it, Northern like, Ireland and and like you know the bottom go yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that, you mad. Hey, you can't put the tariffs and with the broadies. Fire, mate! No, just show them that fire. It's not just in Northern Ireland. People get bought for the guys. People, people get popped in Scotland as well, yeah? Mate, people get popped everywhere. This isn't a f***ing act. This isn't a video game, bro. See my wee cousin? He's uh, there a week, a couple of months ago. Just normal stuff. Just got to see my pal. And just because somebody is like me. Stabbed in the chest, stabbed the three times in the side. Stabbed you? Alright. Fucking hell, man. And I so don't mean that. See, all. next time you have yeah, they, they have so a video, they have a video on Pullman HMP. What? Right? Yeah, man. And I feel that way. Look bro, this is with oh. the Look bro, this okay, is with the Roddy boys fucking need to fucking Look at his scars, mate. That, that's what harmed him, mate. Oh, oh, mate. That's what he bro. gang fights. Dog, What's the, what, what was that with, man? So that's him walking yeah. pal. Hands and feet. He walked his no, pal. What, what did, what did, bro, the, what did they do? That's what you call gangs, mate. That's what you call gang fights. That's what gang fighting is, bro. See, Sometimes you win something yeah, and you lose something. It's a mugs game yeah, all together, mate. It's nothing you want to do. It's a mugs game all together. Yeah. You never win in a fight. You never win in a fight, mate. No, I'll tell you that. Nobody wins in a fight. Is that the score there from it? Mate, look at his full face. I'm brand new, bro. Look at his face. I'm brand new, bro, man. He done f**k out to me, mate. I'm back out on the he said bigger do, 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 you know, do you know who did it, lad? No, nah, bro, I don't know who. No, nah, no comment, you mad man. This is going on YouTube. Yeah. You have done that. We know this is going on YouTube. See the people that done it. They didn't host both, they now put it Aye, that way. be watching us, you fucking fannies. Try to put Northern Ireland and Ireland back together. What are you doing? What? If they try to reunite Ireland, what do you do? Move into England. Move into England. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because I'm up here for no health care. Okay. Hey, ma. I thoroughly enjoyed my night here. The same, unfortunately, can't be said for all. What's he doing, bro? But people fought for it and wore these uniforms. Well, if you would come together, sit down, have a yarn, you'd find out that you're no different from us, that the Catholic and the Protestant are exactly the same.